Brady is a class clown. He's loving and just, he's a great kid. November 28th, 2016. I was at work, I got a phone call from my wife that uh, our son Brady had been playing in the playground at school and had gotten hurt. He was slipping under the steps and I was running super fast because I was getting chased. And then I just like fell over. I hit a staircase at the most perfect angle possible. He'd fallen on his side, experiencing a lot of pain. They'd watched him for a while, but he wasn't doing better and looked like he was perhaps going into shock. I walk in and Brady is ghost white, sweat. Like he was in a shower, like it's like running down him. When he first arrived, he looked sick. He looked pale, but he, his vitals were stable, which is tricky with children. They instantly had an ultrasound there and they were doing an ultrasound on, on him, like, right away. It's a great screening tool that we have that allows us to rapidly assess whether a patient has internal injuries. They told us we needed to do a CT scan because the ultrasound was showing some things. I could see his right kidney just fine, and his left kidney, I just couldn't see it. And he was a young, thin, healthy person. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to see that left kidney. And that's where he had fallen on the stair. So immediately, I was concerned that he had injured his kidney. Dr. Fish looked at me and said, you need to go to a trauma hospital. Where do you want to go? We got Brady all loaded up in the back of the ambulance, and we went to Children's. I got there. They put me inside of a room. Lots of people around me. There was an insane amount of doctors and nurses and people working on them. The great thing that with technology nowadays especially, they were able to look at all the scans that were immediately sent down from Ridgeview. They'd already talked to Dr. Fish. So it was nice to know that they were all on the same page and communicating that fast. Brady had ruptured his kidney and they, they explained it like he scrambled it, like it was in multiple pieces. Throughout the whole thing, Brady was awake and my wife was able to be up right by his head and talking to him during this. And the problem they were having was his internal bleeding, so. I think it, it all really hit. When he looked at her and said, am I dying? I think if Dr. Fish had not taken those steps to really dig into things quickly and not find that internal bleeding, the trauma surgeons at Children's said it would have been a much different thing if we'd been even a half an hour, an hour later, so. We do the best we can to keep the parents involved and informed with what's going on uh, with, the, with the kids. And what we're hoping with the new ER is that we'll have more room. When a critical care trauma patient is in our department, we may have 10, 11, 15 people caring for that patient. We have pre-hospital personnel, we have emergency department personnel, and we have ancillary staff x-ray, lab, um, support staff like social services, chaplains, etc. All of those people need to be in this space around the patient. It's usually controlled chaos due to the large numbers of trauma team members and the equipment necessary to take care of these critically injured patients. When there's so many people involved, we sometimes as surgeons are required to do procedures. It's very difficult when you have limited space and limited access to the patient as well. Uh, so the increase in size is going to be critical. Tonight I'm really excited to raise money for the new trauma room that will be within the Norman and Ann Hoffman Emergency Center. When the unexpected happens, the most immediate and dire needs, this trauma room will be available to serve their needs and provide the highest technology and the best space for our physicians. Yeah, there you go, one here. Good. The thing that awesome. really hit me about the ER staff and the staff at Ridgeview was just the caring, compassionate, quick work that was done. In the fall of 2017, he was able to resume hockey, get into his second year of sport hockey, and he's back to being a normal boy. You know, it's just another day in their business and what they're doing and helping people, but it was a day that we'll never forget.